brothers and sisters, I want you to know right now, they will never understand you. Somebody put down in the comment section below, they will never understand me. Listen to me right now. To all the brothers and sisters around the world who feel misunderstood, I got a powerful message for you, brothers and sisters, all right? They will never understand your walk. Amen? The darkness, the witches and warlocks, fake friends, and even your family members will never understand the purpose, all right, that God put in you. And I'm going to show you why, okay? I'm going to take you to scripture. I'm going to expose it all. But I want you to know, don't waste time on people who operate in darkness. Oh, that's powerful. I'm going to say it again. Don't waste time trying to prove yourself, trying to get people who's in darkness to understand you, all right? Why? Because darkness will never understand light. Somebody put down in the comment section below, darkness will never understand light. Let's go to scripture. John 1, 5 says this, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. You see that? See, you are the light. The most high is shining in you. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. You're the light of the world. But God says that the witches and warlocks can't comprehend you. God says your family who turned their back on you can't understand your purpose. Why? Because it says this. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Here it is. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Here it is. He was not that light, but what? But was sent to bear witness of that light. Just like you, brothers and sisters. Here it is. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Which what? Which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And what? He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. That's your answer. The world don't understand God. That's why they don't understand you. It's powerful. The Bible says, which light of every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. But here it is. He came unto his own and his own received him not. Sounds like your life, right? Your own family and friends. You came to your own, but they didn't receive you. Listen, let, let, let me go here. I'm going to go a step further. Watch this. Watch this. Here it is. Here's, uh, here's John 3, 19, 20. It says this. It says, and this is the condemnation that the light is come. Into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Let me get that pop. Come on. They love darkness rather than light, brothers and sisters. Amen. They love that evil. They love the witchcraft. Amen. They love evil. Listen to God again. It says this. John 3.19 says, and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Their actions were evil. That's how you're able to see who's of light and who's of darkness. And it says this, for everyone that doeth evil have, have if the light neither cometh to the light Least his deeds should be reproved. You will know them by the works. You will know 
them by the works. Why am I bringing this out? Because some of you are wasting time on people who don't have the knowledge and wisdom of God. Yeah. Let's go there. Proverbs 1, 22. How long, ye simple ones, ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. You bring too much knowledge. The Bible says a fool hates knowledge. God is knowledge. God is wisdom. You're teaching them about God. And they reject it. So God says they're foolish. Let's read that again. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. You see that? Listen. I'm going to go a step further. Check this out. Here it is. Proverbs 129 makes it clear. It says this. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my, my uh, reproof. You see that, brothers and sisters? They didn't have fear for the most high. They weren't wise. Yeah. And God says that they don't walk in his way. So I want you to embrace your light. Yeah. You don't have to be understood by them. It don't matter. Amen. Because they will never understand God. So they will never understand you. That's the point. So don't waste time on people who saying, well, what's Crystal Life Coach purpose? It's none of your business. You want, you can't understand it. Amen. I mean, amen. Pop! What's my brothers and sisters' purpose on here? It's none of your business. You can't understand. You can't comprehend. Somebody put down in the comment section below, it's none of your business. What my purpose is. Because even when we tell you, you reject it. See, they made a deadly mistake by rejecting the light. Because the opposite of wise is foolish. So, brothers and sisters, listen. Don't waste your time with these people. They're just trying to gaslight you and get you out your purpose. All right? They're jealous of you. They're jealous of your light. They can never carry the light because, because they don't carry God in them. And understand this. You're blessed. Somebody put on the comment section below, I'm blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. And all they are haters, brothers and sisters. Don't waste your time on them. Listen. When you keep that light shining, it's going to disturb your demons more and more. It's going to make them frustrated at you. But you cannot stop shining a light. You can never dim your light. Keep that light shining. Because as long as the light shines, God is shining in you. That's the point. See, they're just mad because they can't disconnect that light. There's some people in your life that want to be able to have the switch to your light. They want to turn it on and turn it off. Because your light makes them feel uncomfortable. Because God make them feel uncomfortable. I hope that somebody's getting what I'm saying. 
they'll never understand you. They don't want to be around you because they don't understand God and they don't want God in their presence. You bring that knowledge and that wisdom and that understanding and they reject it. But that's their mistake because in the end, they'll pay. Amen. They're paying right now because those who are without God is without protection. Those who are without God is without knowledge. So keep that knowledge and wisdom in you and keep shining. And with that said, all praises to the Most High.